Hi everyone, bonjour, Sharik here and welcome back to another lesson with Globetrot with Arabic. It's been such a long time, I haven't posted a video maybe in about three weeks or more. But now I'm back and today we're going to have a very very nice lesson. It's going to be a Lebanese Arabic lesson dedicated to my Lebanese Arabic students. Uh, it's going to be a very nice song, a song that I like very much. It's called Bukra Shinhar, Tomorrow One Day. But you will understand what I mean tomorrow in a, in a bit. It's by the very, very beautiful singer, Lebanese singer, Julia Boutrous. So we will be reading it, we will be dissecting it, translating it, and going into its grammatical details. And by the end of it, I have a little surprise for you. Let's begin. All right, guys. So the song is called Bukra Shinhar. Bukra literally means tomorrow. Shinhar one day. So when I say shinhar, it means one day. But if I break it down, she means thing. And nhar means day. So we, of course we don't mean thing day. When I say shinhar together, it means one day. And when I say bukra, I also don't mean tomorrow, literally tomorrow. What we mean is that someday. So here it's like you're repeating twice. Someday, someday. Bukra. Like someday, shinhar, one day okay like repeating it basically you could have also said shinhar or mm, in another context you can also say bukra uh, on its own without shinhar but sometimes we can use them together and it would be actually nice when you use them together when you say bukra shinhar someday or one day okay yalla let's begin so let's read it once and then we can break it down so it says bukra shinhar bahkilak الخبرية عن يلي صار وعن هالحلم بعيني قصة مشوار وحدا بيعز علي بكرة شي نهار بحكي لك هالخبرية قلبي واحتار ناوي يحكي لك عني شوية أفكار ما بعمر طلعوا مني وعن هالأسرار ما في داعي تسألني لحالي بقلك هني بكرة شنهار يلا Let's break this down I really like this song very much you will, I'll leave the link in the description box below so you can listen to it So بكرة شنهار As we said it's someday or one day بحكي لك هالخبرية بحكي لك هالخبرية so بحكي, if I break it down, I pronounce it بحكي with the A sound usually when there's no lack. Okay, so if we say أنا بحكي, أنت بتحكي, because it's finishing with the ya yeah, and 100% of the times when a word finishes with the ya yeah, in Lebanese or Arabic, we can pronounce it as A. So بحكي, but the moment I come and I attach this lack to it, we don't pronounce it بحكي لك anymore. We pronounce it بحكي لك. It becomes the E sound again. بحكي لك. Literally what you're actually saying is I speak for you, which means I tell you. Okay? بكرة شنهار بحكي لك هل خبرية. خبرية أو خبرية. Now, if I break هل down, it's the abbreviation of هيدي, which means this, plus إل. Haydil Khabriye, this uh, story. So, I, uh, in an, in, if you're speaking the language, not in the song, of course you can say Haydil Khabriye or Hal Khabriye. They would be the same, exactly the same. But here she sings and she says Hal Khabriye. Now, something happens in this song. I just told you that all the words in Arabic that finish with the, with the ye. We, pr we can pronounce them as A. We actually pronounce them as A most of the times, 100% of the times. But in this song, for example, she's not pronouncing her words that are finishing with the Ye. Okay, for example, in this case, with the Te Marbuta as well, by the way, uh, the same applies. So she's not pronouncing them as A, she's pronouncing it as E. So for example, in life, if I want to say the word Khabariye, I pronounce it as a e, khabariye or khabriye. So we can say khabariye or just khabriye. But here she's pronouncing all of them as e, maybe for the sake of the song, to make them rhyme or something. 
سو شي سينغ بكره شي نهار بحكي لك هالخبريه سو سم داي سم داي سم داي اجين بكره شي نهار اتس لايك يو سينغ سم داي سم داي تويس شي نهار بحكي لك هالخبريه اي سبيك تو يو ويتش مينز اي تيل يو بحكي لك هالخبريه نو خبريه از نوت جست ا ستوري اكشلي ات كمز فروم ذا وورد خبر اند خبر مينز نيوز بت وين اي اد ذا اي تو ات خبريه خبر it becomes a story and not just a story because we have the word usa in arabic which means story usa let me write it here so usa means story but the word khabri is more like a, maybe a tale or something you know the the stories that you see, that you say to to you you tell kids when they go to sleep or before when they go to bed so we can say rah khabarak khabariye which means i will tell you a story so it's that kind of story more like a tale or something uh, but you can of course use it inter- interchangeably with usa usa or khabariye khabariye uh, in another context can also mean news like uh, something that happened a, a piece of news basically okay bukra shinhar بحكي لك هالخبرية. Someday I will tell you the story. And she's saying I tell you the story, but she means I will tell you the story. عن يلي صار وعن هالحلم بعيني. So عن يلي صار. صار means is happened. يلي صار which means which happened. عن يلي صار it means about what happened or about which happened. So I'll tell you the story about what happened basically. عن يلي صار وعن هالحلم بعيني and و عن about هل as I said it's the abbreviation of هيدا or هيدل so هي هالحلم حلم is a dream عن هالحلم about this dream بعيني so عين is I one eye عيني my eyes the a here means my eyes again i wrote it as a e you know usually you see my other lessons i write it as a e but here i wrote it as a i the sound is e because that's how she sings it so she says عن يلي صار وعن هالحلم بعيني okay so uh, about what happened and about the dream in my eyes so if you repeat the full two sentences together she's saying to him bukra shi nhar bahki lak hal khabriye an yalli sar wa an hal hilm b'inayi someday i will tell you the story about what happened and about this dream in my eyes usat mishwar wa hada بيعز علي again قصة مشوار وحدا بيعز علي you remember I just told you a moment ago that قصة means a story قصة but here she's pronouncing it as قصة مشوار why because this is an إضافة an إضافة is when you have a noun which is قصة in this case and مشوار is another noun in this case so every time in Arabic you have a noun plus another noun and if the word finishes with a te marbuta you end up pronouncing this te marbuta so i can't say usa mishwar no never i have to say usit mishwar the story of a journey so mishwar means journey usit mishwar the mishwar the story of a journey wa hada bi'iz alayya and hada hada means someone someone who in this case i mean wa hada bi'iz alayya alayya is literally on me it's ala plus e or a in life we say alayya but here in this song we're saying alayya on me bi'iz in english you would say someone is dear to me or he is dear to me in arabic we have a verb for it we say that he dears to me literally actually we are saying he dears on me which means he is dear to me okay so 
وحدا بيعز علي and someone who is dear to me but I'm actually saying and someone who there's no who in Arabic وحدا بيعز which means he dears علي on me which means someone who is dear to me so قصة مشوار وحدا بيعز علي the story of a trip or a journey and someone who is dear to me and then she repeats it one more time she says again بكره شنهار بحكي لك هالخبرية tomorrow someday I say to you this story يلا let's go to the next part of the song قلبي واحتار ناوي يحكي لك عني like if I'm saying this sentence in in real life in Lebanese I would say قلبي واحتار ناوي يحكي لك عني but look at the difference so قلبي is becoming قلبي in the song واحتار is staying the same ناوي in real life it's becoming ناوي in the song ناوي يحكي لك عني I usually say عني in real life but in the song I'm saying عني قلبي واحتار ناوي يحكي لك عني let's break this down قلب means heart قلبي means my heart احتار is the past form of to get confused he got confused وحتار and he got confused it's a way to say and my heart got confused قلبي وحتار and my heart got confused ناوي ناوي means he intends why? because we're referring to the word قلب which is a masculine word so ناوي literally it means he is the intender intender it's a participle it's not a verb but it plays the role of a verb and it means he intends to okay ناوي and in Lebanese when we're saying it in real life as I said we pronounce it ناوي and the feminine form of it is ناوي ناوي and the plural is ناويين we intend or they intend ناوي ناوي ناويين let me write it in Roman letters so it would become ناوي ناوي ناويين literally intender intender feminine intenders but we mean here uh, he intends or she intends or they intend because this is a participle and it's playing the role of a verb so قلبي واحتار ناوي يحكي لك uh, we said initially in this uh, song احكي which means I speak يحكي he speaks so ناوي يحكي لك he intends to speak to you which means he, inten he intends to tell you so my heart is confused he intends to tell you or to speak to you to tell you about me عني عن means about عن is about me so قلبي واحتار my heart got confused or is confused ناوي يحكي لك عني he intends to speak to you we mean it intends because we don't have it in Arabic ناوي يحكي لك عني intends to speak to you about me شوية أفكار ما بعمر طلعوا مني شوي in Arabic means a little bit but when I come and I mention the word afkar which is ideas by the way fikra is the singular form fikra and afkar is the plural form so when I want to say a few ideas I don't say shway afkar anymore no I have to add a te marbuta and I say shwayit afkar, a few ideas. So every time you want to say a little bit, uh, you say shway without the te marbuta. But when you come and you mention the object that you are actually not counting, but yes, like um, measuring or counting, in this case, a few, you're saying a few, we have to add a te marbuta, shwayit afkar. We don't say shway afkar, it would be wrong, okay? So, 
شوية أفكار a few ideas ما بعمرن so you see I'm pronouncing it as مب ما بعمرن ما بعمرن طلعوا مني let's break this down مني means of or from me من means of or from and the e here means uh, from me okay طلعوا is the plural form of they came out طلعوا مني they came out of me so شوية أفكار طلعوا مني a few ideas came out of me but there's also here ما بعمرن what does ما بعمرن mean ما means not B means in عمر means life عمرون means their life so you are actually saying never in their life which means they have never done something for example in this case شوية أفكار a few ideas ما بعمرون never in their life came out of me so how can I translate this actually in Arabic uh, I can translate it as uh, a few ideas that never came out of me so ما بعمرون I can translate it as never but I'm actually saying never in their life okay so uh, the two sentences together would mean قلبي وحتار ناوي يحكي لك عني شوية أفكار ما بعمرون طلعوا مني so my heart uh, got confused and he intends to uh, tell you about me a few ideas that never came out of me let's continue وعن هالأسرار ما في داعي تسألني وعن هالأسرار ما في داعي تسألني who means and عن means about هل as we said is the abbreviation, abbreviation of هيدل or هيدل or هيدول because in this case أسرار is the plural form of the word سر and سر in Arabic means a secret أسرار means secrets so سر secret in the singular form أسرار in the plural form so وعن هل أسرار and about these secrets ما في داعي you can memorize this as an expression ما في داعي you see here I'm pronouncing it as a e but in real life we would pronounce it as a e عن هل أسرار ما في داعي I could I would actually even pronounce it as داعي instead of داعي so ما في داعي تسأل تسأل is you ask تسألني with the ن sound in the end means me again here I'm pronouncing it as a e just because of the sound so تسأل تسألني in real life but in this song she pronounces it as تسألني so if I want to say it to someone to one of my friends I would say ما في داعي تسألني but in this song we are saying ما في داعي تسألني with the e in the end so في داعي means there is a there is a need ما في داعي there is no need which means no need to do something ما في داعي okay for example if one of my friends is coming to my house and he says بجيب أكل do I bring food I can say لا ما في داعي no no need ما في داعي so ما في داعي تسألني there is no need to ask me so وعن هالأسرار ما في داعي تسألني and about these secrets no need for you to ask me basically so you don't need to ask me about these secrets why? because she tells him لحالي بقلك هني بكرة شنهار Again, let me pronounce it the Lebanese way, the way we say it in life. لحالي بقلك هني بكرة شنهار لحالي means on my own. لحالي Because حال means self. حالي means myself. لحالي Oh, actually I should put a لا here. لحالي on my own, which means alone or by myself or on my own. لحالي بقلك 
بقول means I say or I tell بقول plus لك means I say for you or to you but the moment I add the لك to say I tell you I don't pronounce it بقول لك anymore we drop this O sound and it becomes بقلك بقلك which means I tell you and if it's feminine I would say بقلك لحالي لحالي بقلك which means I'll tell you on my own so uh, I think in English you'd say by your own, in your own time or by your own means no I don't think it's means but like uh, it's a way to say I'll do it alone or on my own without you telling me basically okay so لحالي بقلك I will tell you in my own time, uh, on my own. لحالي بقلك هني. I tell you, هني means them in this context. I, it's like you are saying, I tell you they, but you mean, of course, I tell you them. I will tell them to you, basically. لحالي بقلك هني بكرة شنهار. Tomorrow, someday, which means, again, someday, someday, okay? Let's repeat this. Um, there is another part of the song, but I decided to do just the first part for you today so let's read it one more time slowly i will pause after every one sentence and you repeat after me okay yalla bukra shinhar bihki lak hal khabriye an yalli sar wa an hal hilm ba'inayye usset mishwar وحدا بعز علي بكرة شنهار بحكي لك هالخبرية قلبي وحتار ناوي يحكي لك عني شوية أفكار ما بعمر طلعوا مني وعن هالأسرار ما في داعي تسألني لحالي بقلك هني بكرة شنهار I hope you enjoyed it let me turn my camera and say bye to you alright guys so this was the song for today I hope you enjoyed it keep repeating it keep repeating the sentences I will leave the link in the description box down below and actually as I told you at the beginning of the lesson I have a little surprise for you I recorded this song with my own voice with a, with an app called Smule from home just randomly like that and I will upload it to YouTube as well after this lesson so firstly I'm gonna upload this lesson study it learn it and listen to the original song and then you can listen to to my version of it okay and see you soon yalla bye